My name is Dr. Rick Segill. I'm and action. Hey, uh, Jay, how did you This is Kirk to them. Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Rick, founder of Herbal 411. I run an integrated medicine clinic in Hoffman Estates, and Janine and I wanted to put together a few tidbits of what to do to get started with the change because we're noticing in the fall a lot of people are waiting to the last minute at least i am but i wanted to get your approach i do integrative medicine and janine if you can introduce yourself yeah i'm janine jaswick and i'm the owner of nature's balance acupuncture here in crystal lake uh, we look at the 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 body in from a whole holistic perspective uh, meaning uh, so for some of our viewers that don't understand holistic mm -hmm. and don't know about the beauty of Chinese medicine and you know, ancient medicine uh, could you define that further uh, the holistic means mind body and spirit so the in Chinese medicine just to give you an example in Chinese medicine the organs are connected to emotions so oftentimes when we have an emotional upset it's held in the organ so you got to go back and figure out well what came first you know was it the emotion that to cause the organ to go off, or was it the organ that went off and then caused an emotion? Mm -hmm. So, you know, lung is associated with fear, so we have a lot of fear, um, or sorry, grief, and then uh, kidneys associated with fear. So if you have a fearful event, kidneys can be affected. So, so we're looking at the whole thing, the mind, body, and spirit. Which is uh, what I've always appreciated, and just full disclosure, I also have studied, so I'm an MD, allopathic MD, but I've also studied several different um, cultures and traditional Chinese medicine is one so I understand the lingo that but but some of my patients probably sure, don't absolutely some of your patients might not know my approach so I thought this would be a great venue to give you guys empowerment to make the change and don't be embarrassed but I guess I'll start it off yeah so as I alluded to I'm having a lot of patients come in and last minute stuff it, it's okay if you're my patient last minute stuff to reverse diabetes blood pressure or lose weight and unfortunately as you guys know, and as Jean, you know, it probably is not just today because you got a blood test that it's off. It's probably the last couple of months to years that, that has accumulated to give you those imbalances that we use in, in Western medicine. And unfortunately, that's one of the faults of Western medicine is we wait till the last minute. Uh, and I'm not talking about all the doctors, but we'll wait till the last minute. And then we deploy big prescription medicines to band-aid, but not necessarily fix the root cause. So I like to approach it a different way. And just to start things off, uh, I will give you an anecdote that I had a patient call me and we just did some blood tests. I hadn't seen her for about seven months. Hemoglobin A1C was nine. Wow. So that's a glucose that translates to about 210 or so. And for those of you who don't understand the uh, numbers, your glucose is supposed to be 100 or lower. So this is diabetes in its fullest expression. And uh, she's, she's frantic to get started, but I have my options. And then there's another gal who came to see me after missing me for a little bit, and she's gained 20 pounds. Uh, life seems great, but she's gained 20 pounds, and that was on thyroid medicine. So I had to give her a thyroid Band-Aid about uh, springtime. Haven't heard from her for a while, and here she is. So it, it's okay to have last minute problems, but uh, don't be in a hurry is my suggestion. And I usually will deploy, this is what I do for my folks that are coming in, I'll deploy fine-tuning exercise, fine-tuning nutrition practice to match the exercise, and fine-tuning some form of calm or spirituality. And I think everybody's a little different. There's never a cookie cutter for my folks, and I'll usually have to, uh, like we talked about, zone two and zone five exercise. Uh, some patients don't even understand that, and they'll go by just perceived exertion. So I usually will say, well, what we did with just basing it on perceived exertion has brought you to this 20 pounds or this hemoglobin A1C is high. So we probably should modify it, even though it sounds like you're kicking butt in the gym or in a yoga class, we have to use the data, which I'm usually going to default to, to um, fine tune and improve before a tough season comes in. Uh, winter's typically a tough season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, uh, you know, a lot of people come to me, you know, it's October, it's coming into October now, you know, the summer was like, oh, too many things to do, so many, so many places, so many events and graduations, it starts out with graduations and prom and all that stuff in the fall, and then the kids are home from school, and we just lose ourselves. and um, they come and they say, well, how do I, you know, how do I get back on track, you know, I had this goal, I started in January, and, you know, and, and here I am, I haven't really done anything, you know, because there's always... Oh, something happening. I can't do it. I can't do it. My first, my first suggestion is number one, just start, start something, anything. 
um, you know, whether it be taking a walk, uh, whether it be one dietary change, you know, mm -hmm. eating more protein, mm -hmm. you know, something really very basic. And then what I always give people is one tidbit. I say, okay, do this one thing. Let's lock that down the next time, you know, when you come in for your next treatment or your next, you know, if you come in once a month or if you come in once every two weeks or whatever the schedule is, you know, we'll talk about, okay, once you got that locked in, then let's add on something else. So, so Chinese medicine is all about balance and fall is a time where things are changing. Uh, the seasons are changing. We're going from a very yang time, which is very active and sun and heat and everything to a very yin time, winter, cold, dark, and uh, very quiet. Think about the bear hibernating. So, so you're moving into that time. And one of the things that people can do is spring as well as in fall when during this transition is to do a detox and to start detoxing to kind of again to kick things off you know to kind of re do a kind of do a reset because my thing is if you wait until january 1st which a lot of people will do um and you know and that's it's okay you know where, wherever you're at you're at um, but if you wait until January 1st, uh, if you don't do something today, this last quarter is going to get out of control. So yes. starting in starting in Thanksgiving time, you know, things start to get, again, out of control. So you have a few months right now to kind of reset, rebalance, and kind of re-energize so that when you go into January, you're not, you know, A1 season not higher, um, you know, your, um, your weight is not higher. Uh, and, and things are not going, you know, gone. And so now you're in the worst place mm -hmm. in January 1st and you're saying, okay, well, now I'm going to start. And then it's even more frustrating. It's like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Right, right. Uh, interesting on the idea. So for, for viewers that don't understand yin and yang, there's this circle that you've probably seen of traditional Chinese medicine or, or, or in martial arts, it's a black uh, and a white circle where you have two different um, um, contrasts. And it's perfect balance that I mean, Chinese medicine is so beautiful, but the black and the white always have to exist. And that's the yin and the yang. So great explanation. You know, uh, when you do have somebody that does a detox, because some people understand mm -hmm. detox mm -hmm. is one thing, like not eating, but there's more to it than, can you explain detox to folks? Sure. So, so from my perspective, again, it's about supporting the system. I mean, it's not like, okay, so people always say when, when they come in and they tell them, okay, do a detox. The first thing they say, well, am I going to be going to the bathroom a lot? Mm, mm -hmm. No, no. Detoxes shouldn't be like that. You know, they should be, again, balanced. You want to clean out the liver. You want to support the liver, though, too. You mm -hmm. want to, you know, get your bile flowing. You want to get your digestion working. You want to get your mitochondria working. You know, so we're working on right now, um, I'm going to be bringing in a new a new program, a three-month detox program that basically does exactly that. First month is detox, second month is detox and build, and the third month is really focusing on energizing. So it's a three-month program, and it's not really complicated. I mean, you could really do the detox and not change your diet at all, which I don't recommend, but you could do that. And you will get an get an, uh, an improvement in your lifespan. Uh, they did a study. This particular detox I'm referencing is um, they did a study on 40 people, and they had an age reversal of anywhere from one to eight years hmm. when they did uh, true diagnostics, which is a test to test your actual biological age. So it has a lot of power, and people felt so good and so refreshed. They they some of them wanted to continue on the program, and hmm. and it's not recommended because you don't have to, and it doesn't, it didn't, the, there was no additional benefit from continuing it. Mm -hmm. um, you could do it again in a year or whatever, but uh, to continue it was not necessary, but it was really a powerful program and it has all the elements to get your body back into balance. Interesting. Uh, uh, we'll, we're gonna table that for now because I'd like to refresh the viewer's memory, but uh, before we table it, uh, how do folks, uh, is it a detox that they get here or is it a detox that they incorporate at home? Yeah, so it's something that you could buy here or I can, you know, we can, you can order it online um, and, and then basically, you know, I can guide you through. There's obviously a program guide. It's, it's a very simple program. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to follow. It's not any complicated. You're not going to be running to the bathroom. You're not going to, you may, initially, I'm not going to lie, every detox starts out, you may feel a little bad. You know your your body's shifting, and every time you have a shift, you know it can shift. You know your bowel movements can shift. 
you know, you can become more constipated, you can become more diarrhea, you know, it depends upon your, where you're flowing. Um, and, you know, so, but, but it's not, it's not a long-term thing. I mean, it's, you know, it's initial and then you get past that and you move on. So, but it's not a, it's not a showstopper. It's very, it's a very nice, easy program to follow. Yeah. But yeah so that's where you, where you can do it. Okay. Got it. And we'll put it down in the description below as far as how folks can contact you and how folks can sure. Great. get that. So that, that, the one thing that I, uh, remember you saying is that people feel great so they want to continue yes i think that the detox effect uh is always going to be something of a change that in um, ancient traditions there's always a, a change or a shift in the plant life around you the the weather pattern around you and you're supposed to eat the, the harvest of your area that, but you know with mass movement of food in the United States, you can eat stuff that's always growing in South America and it might not be the healthiest. So I think folks need some guidance and that's where I, my, my approach is uh, not necessarily uh, that as intricate as yours. I like the balance thing, I like the detox thing, but usually I'll try to get folks, especially the diabetic that's coming in mm -hmm. or the, um, the, the, the lady that gained 20 pounds. It's feeling great, but she gained 20 pounds. Well. That there's other things that I probably uh, told them to postpone when we initiated change way back when, and they felt great, but now they didn't continue with me. And, and again, that's not the fault of my patient, but there's a lot of things that get in the way. I didn't think about uh, how there's a lot of events in the summertime, just as dense and and back to back has uh, Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween, Christmas, and or Hanukkah and New Year's. Right. They got four big hits coming and. I, my practical approach is if they're not ready to make the change, I, I just would say, okay, well, pay it forward. If we're going to engage Halloween, you know there's going to be stuff around you. Even if you to empty out your pockets and your cupboard, <laughs> when you go to an office, they're going to have bowls of stuff. Uh, there's going to be, everywhere you go, uh, driveway, or, or uh, sorry, grocery store, pharmacy, even the gas station, there's going to be galore candy. Halloween, yes. Yeah, candy all over. And and cool colors too. Orange always seems to get me as far as, uh, I forgot what those candies are called, but it always makes me think, oh, that, remember it used to taste good, but that's high fructose corn syrup. So I, I usually will say, okay, don't wait till the holidays or January 1st, which is usually a countdown, but like you said, it's only a date. We don't have to stick to it, but it is a hash mark for my patients to say, okay, I'm gonna work towards that. So this isn't gonna be forever, because that's also a deal breaker too, I find. If I say, I want you to lose 30 pounds, so 20 plus an additional 10 in the next year, I'll see you then. But that's not right, and that's not supportive. So I think I have to architect without hand-holding all the way, architect a way to stepwise. And I like your idea about first step is to just start. And I think that's, a, that's what I use as well. If you didn't exercise, or if you have a, a bike downstairs, an elliptical, a Peloton, and it was not used in the last six months. I don't know if I deploy that now. If we're gonna deploy it, then we have to have a truncated amount of time to get off of it because it never resonated with that person before. And I'm guilty of that too. I've got a bike, I've got a treadmill, I've got a power rack that I'm gonna be disassembling because it was there and I'm so accustomed to just walking by it. So if I just commit my patients to say, get back on that thing forever, no. So I'll give a short-term goal and then I'll hit the goal and then I'll say, okay, let's talk about the next thing, which will be nutrition. I think nutrition always mm -hmm. balances out, but sometimes if I give shorter goals, like I just want you to walk four times a week, we'll talk about zone two, which uh, we can do at a later uh, date on a different podcast, but zone two, follow your heart rate and try to do it four times a week and that's your accomplishment for the next four weeks. And then we talk about higher protein, which is what you suggested, or messing around with macros, or intermittent fasting, or volume depletion. So we can do all those things later, and then after that, we'll talk about spirituality or other things. And I think ultimately, just like traditional Chinese medicine, everything has to be personalized, which is why cookie cutter approach where you say exercise, zone two, zone five, and rest, and then push to zone five, and then do this many macros, and then uh, go to church or synagogue or temple three times a week, that, that's, that's too cookie cutter. And with cookie cutter, I think failure comes. Mm -hmm. So I, I like your approach. That's what I do in a mm -hmm. nutshell. I, I like the idea about maybe starting with a detox and then moving forward, but I think we're on the same mm -hmm. page probably as far as 
getting started now. Yeah, so, so one of the things too is if somebody wants to do more, you know, if they're doing the detox, a lot of times what I find is people feel so good, they want, all of a sudden now they're asking me, well, what can I do? What else can I do? Mm, you know, how, right. can, how can I add more to it? So, it's, so it comes naturally versus me saying, okay, you should do this and shoot this. Because obviously if you do this program, you know, um, if you were to incorporate intermittent fasting with it, wow, that would actually accelerate your, you know, age improvement. Um, if you added exercise, you know, high intensity exercise, if you did zone two, I mean, if you did all the things you mentioned in top of this detox, I mean, you would have a much better effect, but you know, if you haven't, if you haven't done anything and you're just starting, just start. All right. Exactly. So I think we'll leave it at that. Hopefully we've given you some good ideas, but bottom line is that don't be embarrassed. Get started. If you're not sure what to do to get started, then you come to us. And uh, could you tell the folks what your, how to reach you? So you can call me at 815-788-8383 and um, you know, we can, you can email me, you can schedule online, uh, whatever, whatever works best. Um, you know, the first, the way we always start is an initial evaluation to evaluate exactly where you're at, you know, and then where, what your goals are and then what's the best approach to get there. Excellent. And I'll put your website uh, in the description down below. Great. Mine is, uh, you can call 847 847- Nine zero seven zero five five eight, or my website, which I'll put down below, and you can get started as a patient or maybe a subscriber. But just get started. Don't worry about how bad things are. You can always keep your doctors or your team, but we might want to be supervising you as far as the next step, so that you don't go all in and then get out of balance because you went one hundred and ten percent and got injured, mm -hmm. or you went the wrong way with totally not eating anything. That that that's not the way we want to balance people and I think there's other ways to pack or shortcut your success. So thanks Janine. Thank you. I'll talk to you again.